Hi everyone. In this video, we will see fluid management in septic shock. So we have received one patient of perforation peritonitis which has septic shock. So we have resuscitated this patient according to this algorithm. So first we have given this patient a bolus of crystalloid fluids at 20 ml per kg. And while resuscitating the patient with fluids, we have inserted a central line in the patient to monitor its central venous pressure. After achieving the desired CVP, we have inserted an arterial line under local anesthesia before inducing the case. As you can see, we have achieved the desired map. Now we have taken the patient under general anesthesia. After inducing the case, we have taken a sample of blood gas analysis from the central venous line to look for its SCVO2. If the SCV is less than 70% or the HB is less than 8 mg per deciliter, we will transfuse blood into the patient. So the resuscitation is completed when we achieve the desired parameters or the surgery is completed. Thank you for watching this video.